In Ohio, when people go to court over oil and gas disputes, um, the issue is usually about um, an existing oil and gas lease on one hand or um, a mineral rights issue uh, on the other hand. Um, if there's a dispute about an oil and gas lease, that can come in one of several different varieties. Um, sometimes the dispute is about whether the lease is still in effect. Um, in those cases, you have a property owner claiming that the lease is not in effect any longer, and typically uh, an oil and gas developer who claims that the lease is still in effect. Um, sometimes these leases are as old as 100 years or so, so it can be difficult to um, figure out what parties are involved, let alone you know, whether under these facts that lease would still be in effect. Say for example, um, somebody owns the surface rights to property. Typically what they're going to do is they're going to lease the mineral rights to an oil and gas producer who will drill a well on that property and produce gas, uh, oil and gas. The driller agrees to provide or pay royalties to the surface owner. Where we get into problems is when company A is the driller, they lease the oil and gas rights to company B, who may even release, release lease to company C. Um, in that event, the royalties still have to flow back to the surface owner. In a lot of cases, we see that they don't and the surface owner would have an action against company A or B or C uh, for failure to pay royalties. But typically the issue boils down to um, production from the wells um, and whether the well is still producing. If the well is producing, then it's what's called held by production or HBP under the lease. And if the well is not producing any longer, then um, the lessee, the developer's rights can be forfeited and revert back to the landowner. We've had good results for our clients. We've, we represent hundreds of landowners uh, and, and hundreds of thousands of acres. One of the ways we do that successfully for our clients is uh, to show that the lease failed for some reason. Um, that can be due to, as Jim said, non-payment of royalties, whether those are production royalties or shut-in payments of some kind. Um, another reason a lease can fail is due to non-production from that lease. So if you don't have oil and gas springing from that well over a certain period of time under Ohio law, that lease can terminate and that interest that the developer, company A or B or C previously had, will revert back to the landowner. And in that situation, then the landowner can enter a new agreement with the oil and gas producer and get the uh, upfront payment.